Hello and welcome to the Radio Silly Video News. Sign up to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash Radio Silly. What would you need in a disaster? If a major weather event hit our islands and you lost your home, what essentials would you need to survive? That's what Rotarian Tom Henderson asked himself while watching a news report of a disaster ten years ago. And that thought led to the creation of the Shelterbox Initiative. Islanders have heard about the campaign to provide tents containing emergency equipment and shelter for up to ten people at two sessions this weekend. On Saturday night, Tom spoke at the Briar Community Centre. On Sunday night, 50 islanders watched DVD reports of their aid efforts in Gaza Haiti and Pakistan. Construction of roads. They'll be carrying wheelbarrows, they'll be carrying camels. Tom told attendees that the islands had given the equivalent of £10 per head of population over the years towards the Shelterbox Appeal. If that kind of personal donation was applied to Cornwall, then that county would bring in £14 million. Tom says his response teams of 150 volunteers aim to be on the ground in any area hit by disaster in 48 hours, and they aim to help half a million people within five years. His goal is to be the number one aid agency within the shortest possible amount of time bold one but then as I often say pe people are dying and need our attention so for me it's all about driving forward and trying to achieve the aim. Uh, it's e easy to stand still, it's more of a challenge to move forward. Shelterbox used the Rotary Club network to make contacts on the ground and they utilised the 32,000 strong global membership to cut red tape. Because of that they managed to get into places like Burma and Gaza where other agencies struggle to make any inroads. I mean, that's the reason, that's the strength of our organisation. People can see what we do and uh, we're fleet of foot, fast moving. And I think in a disaster, particularly governments around the world, and as you heard tonight, whether it's Gaza or Burma or Somaliland, they, they respond to that by, uh, by helping us to help them. And that uh, comes down to giving us visas. The £20,000 raised so far in the islands has brought boxes and the shelter tents for 12 countries, including Swaziland, Congo, Nepal, East Timor and the Ukraine. The 10-person tents are now built to withstand 100 mile an hour winds, and a fortnight ago Tom and his wife Jane were in China road testing them in a wind tunnel, also with uh, monsoon settings. He says they always invest in decent quality tools for the boxes, including pliers, axes and cutlery that will last. It's all about quality, you know, uh, as I've always said from day one, you know, we want something that's going to last. I, do, I don't view it as a tent, I view it as a, a life-supporting tool. I don't view it as an axe, I view, view it as a tool. So it's all about quality, and with, with that comes longevity, you know, why, why send an inferior product? Um, and they're not expensive, they're just value for money.